The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Brandon with 10, gets a pick from Griffey. Griffey now will get the pass, shoot a three, and got it! From exactly. the top of the key, 63-62, Illinois! Here goes Joe, to the lane, layup is good! Oh my goodness! And he's oh. fouled! It's your world, Joe! Fighting Illini Insider is brought to you by Fighting Illini Energy, the official electricity choice of Illini Nation. The Illini Card, the official credit card of the University of Illinois. Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Baker. Welcome to Fighting Illini Insider. I'm here with the head basketball coach, John Gross. And coach, got your team off to a perfect 10-0 start. I know that you and your staff were busy Saturday preparing for that game at Gonzaga Saturday night. But during the day, one well-known nationally college basketball analyst said Illinois was one of the most overrated teams in the country and was going to get hammered by the Zags and had no chance of winning. I would say the Illini proved him and a lot of other naysayers wrong, winning a huge game in Spokane, 85-74. Well, as I said, I didn't have to do uh, a whole lot of motivation for that for that, that so, game. So, so you heard about that, yeah, huh? Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> you know, the guys, uh, they hear that stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, obviously we've said before, Ryan, we're not going to let one game define us. Uh, but I am proud of the way that we played. I thought we were really tough. We were really together. Uh, when we got down 12 to three, that place was about as loud as any place that I've that I've ever coached in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was it was rocking. But our guys just stayed right here, you know, and showed great poise. Well, obviously, Brandon Paul had one of the best games of his career here at Illinois. As your team goes to the kennel and shows just as much bite as bark. Right now, let's take a look at the highlights of that win over Gonzaga as well as Western Carolina with Brian Barnhart on the call. Ed Hightower is our official tonight. The Illini win the tap easily, uncontested. The Illini in the orange tonight. And here come the Catamounts in the purple from right to left. We're just underway here in Champaign. And now a steal. Brandon Paul takes the ball to the other end and lays it up and in. Now to Tinkalowitz. Tinkalowitz bounces it right side, stolen again. Abrams with a steal and another layup. Boy, the Illini with back-to-back -back layups. No foul that time. Brandon jumping out on him is Preston Ross. Ross at 6-4. Brandon stutter step, pull up three. Tough shot, and he got it. <laughs> Very few people can make that shot. He averages 14. The Illini head quickly the other way. Abrams with a missed layup. McLaurin though with a slam. Left wing, he's got it. One of the crush standing behind him. Now gets it to Abrams, drives left baseline, up and under, and missed the layup. Henry though with a tap, and he gently taps it up and in. Right wing to McLaurin, touch pass back to Tracy. 18 to shoot, 48 for the half. Paul, dribble drive all the way to the basket, and he slams it in. Oh. And nobody cut off Brandon Paul, and that's a big mistake. Got to get it in to Paul. Left wing, Brandon drives to the basket in the paint. Scoop shot up and missed it. Tapped the weak side by Abrams. Abrams comes flying in, and he taps it up and in. He had his teammates help him out with missed layups earlier. Yes. He's seen the basket. Ball go through the basket now. You know he's going to be more aggressive. Here's a three. Egwu got it from the left wing. Yes. Egwu, and he can do that, folks. He does it in practice all the time. Out top to McLaurin. Left wing to Bertrand. A lob to Egwu. Got position. Short jumper. No good. Followed by Bertrand. And he slams it in. Right wing Bertrand. Bertrand, top of the key, stutter step, down the lane, floater is good! Bertrand with a pretty pull-up shot. 12.39 to go in the game, 42-40 Illinois. Trying to fight off the Cats here from Western Carolina. Here's Griffey, pass from Bertrand, and he buries a two! Right on the line in the corner. Inbounded to King, stolen by Paul. Pass ahead to Henry. Henry drives to the basket, banked it up and in! Kind of an awkward looking shot. Left side of the lane, he threw it up with the right hand, it goes in. Catamounts can take the lead, or with a three, can tie with a two. Under the basket, Brown stolen. Illinois fast break. Pass to Henry with a layup. Count it, and he's fouled. Not a big three-point shooter, only the second one he's made all year. 50-47, the lead three. Down the lane, Brandon Paul with a layup, and he drives it in and lays it up and in. The only time we would have this in the pre-conference schedule with this guard guard the whip, but Coming down to the end again against this Western Carolina. Tracy Abrams with a pretty feed to Egwu, who slams it in. Here's the inbound. Abrams gets it back from Nana, kicks it out to DJ, right wing three, it's good. 
Richardson buries a three. Here goes Gross again. He's bouncing up and down. Richardson, left wing. Top of the key. They leave him open for three. Got it. Big shot. DJ buries a three and keeps that wrist extended. He knew it was going in. They're up 64-56. Abrams, six to shoot. Free throw line jumper. Fade away. Good. Tracy Abrams with a fade away from 15. A minute to go. 66-58, five to shoot. Tracy down the lane, layup is good. Rolled it in with the left hand. It rolled around the rim, thought about going down and decided to go ahead and finish it. Five seconds left, Boggs, long three is too hard. Rebound, McLaurin, that'll do it. Well, it was not easy, but the Illini get it done, 72-64. Well, the Illini in the visiting blue. Gonzaga the home white. This is the fourth game in this series. Illinois won last year, 82-75. 8-0 Gonzaga. Left corner, three. Brandon got it from the left corner. Dribbled into the corner and shot it. Griffey, left wing, ball for three. Missed it. Too hard. Rebound, DJ. Gets it back. Shoots a three and got it from the left wing. Now this is Eddie. Eddie drives in the lane and it's stolen. Good D by Brandon. Stolen by Tracy. Tracy on the break to Brandon. Paul the layup and it's good. Get it to him. Left wing to Brandon. Now to Griffey. 15 footer is good. Left to the free throw line. There you go, Jerry. Yep. Griffey nailed it for 20 to 13. Gonzaga. The Illini into the front court. Paul on the baseline. Swoops it up and in under the basket. And they can't handle Brandon Paul. Bertrand on the right wing. Feed to McLaurin. In the paint. Baseline. Puts it on the floor. Spin move. Oh, with the left hand. Wow. It's good. Sam McLaurin with a pretty move inside. 28-18, Gonzaga rebound, Illinois. Griffey to Abrams, all the way down the lane. Abrams with a layup, good. Took it right of the lane. Here is Paul, back in the game, shoots a three. Got it from the right corner. Brandon Paul buries the three. 33-23, Gonzaga, Paul, right wing, launches a three, and he banked it in, falling to the floor. No foul. He's looking for a foul. Who's back in? Bell to Olenek, stolen by Tracy Great Abrams. Ease. Two on one break, Illinois. Abrams layup, got it, and he's fouled. Count it. Blocking foul on Gonzaga. Basket taken away. Three quarter court press, they break it. Bertrand all the way down, put up a Count. shot, puts it in, got the bounce, and he's fouled. Inbound to Bertrand. Can't fire the three. Goes around Hart, floater in the lane, puts it up and in. Bertrand with a floater on the right baseline. Break, here they come. Pangos with a layup, blocked by Brandon Paul. Hammers it to the ground with a spike. Wow. Five to shoot. Had it nearly stolen by, guess who? Brandon Paul, loose on the floor. Shot clock at two. And a foul. Loose ball foul. Is that on Gonzaga? Yes. It is. Oh, Brandon Paul is fired up. Dribble, left corner to Griffey. Down to three. Griffey pull up from 15, and he got, got it. it at the free throw line. And that'll do it for the half. And we'll go in tied. Brandon Paul, 18 in the first half. Dribbles to the right wing. Cross court, Henry. Left wing, three. Got it. <laughs> Mike wow. Henry. Cool as a cucumber, parries the three. A high, low action. Yeah, but that's how you beat a zone, getting it inside the middle. Abrams down the lane again with a layup at the other end, and he lays it in. Thought about a three, drives to the basket. Tracy in the lane, kicks the DJ for three, and he got it from the left corner. Abrams to Richardson. Richardson to Tracy. Abrams down low. Shot put up by McLaurin, and it's good from 10 feet on the left baseline. They line eye right to left of the Blues. We look at it. 54-49, Illinois. Paul, pull up, 17-footer, and he got it. He's still hot. Abrams, guarded by got Eddie. Him. Out top, Henry, 4-3, and he got it. He was open, got him. Mike Henry buries a three. 63-59, Illinois. Bertrand, stutter step, spin, down the lane, floater, and it's good. <laughs> Angles is on Griffin. Here's Abrams to the paint, kicks to DJ, top of the key, three, got, got it. it, and he's fouled. And one. Ooh. Richardson for three, and he's fouled by Pangos. Got the switch he wants. by Olenek. He's got the switch he wants, drives to the basket, layup, Brandon, it's good. Brandon Paul around the seven-footer. He couldn't stop it. Going to Brandon Paul. Paul, top of the key, circles down the lane, layup is good. Oh. Good. It's good, and he's fouled. Brandon. Brandon, oh. Superman Paul with 29. Six to shoot. Brandon one on one, top of the key for three, and he got it, he got it. And I are gonna pin the eighth loss in this building on Gonzaga, 12 seconds left. This team is for real. 10-0, the Illini come to Spokane.
and they beat Gonzaga after being down by 11. They fought uphill the whole first half, and they win it by 11. We spend more time in the gym with our brothers than we do with our families. We play through the pain because every game matters. We strive to be a teammate. We want others to be. We play with toughness and togetherness. Illinois, our state, our team. Welcome back to Fighting the Line. I'm Insider here with head coach John Gross. Coach, since Gonzaga's home arena, one of the toughest places to play in the country, the kennel they call it, opened in 2004. Only seven teams had gone in there and left with the victory. Your ball club became the eighth Saturday night. And, and uh, you look at this matchup, number 13 versus number 10, a team a lot of people thought, is, is, still think is Final Four caliber. To get out of there with the win, how difficult was it, especially with the start that the Zags had on you guys? Well, very difficult. You know, obviously they're very well coached. Uh, they've got a lot of depth. I was really concerned, mm -hmm. Ryan, about their collection of four and fives. Mm -hmm. You know, their front line mm -hmm. in terms of collectively might be about as good as we're going to play all season. Um, good guard play. You know, we knew we were going to have to play really well and, and, and show great poise in that environment. I thought we did that. And then we had, you know, Brandon had a special performance, but Mike Henry makes two threes mm -hmm. that I thought were critical. Uh, Joe Bertrand made big plays. Tracy Abrams made plays late in the game. I thought Sam McLaurin was really physical. I thought Griff's shot at the end of the half was mm -hmm. a big momentum booster. You know, Nana uh, obviously made big plays for us, especially on the defensive end with his length and athleticism. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought every guy that played contributed at a high level. Richardson made some big threes early mm -hmm. when we were struggling. So you could go right down the line. I mean, those guys really stepped up at a high level. And how your team fought through the adversity was we didn't talk about the foul trouble. I mean, Nana found out. You also had Tyler fall out of that game on the road in a hostile environment. But you really have to point to just one guy, and BP3 really willed, uh, you know, willed your ball club to that victory, the 35 points, but how he did it, and of course he's Big Ten Player of the Week, there's no question about that, but to go 10 of 16, uh, you know, he shot 10 of 11 from the free throw line, five three-pointers, but I was more impressed how he got his offense going on the defensive end and ignited your team to the win. No question. I thought the biggest thing that he brought us, Ryan, was passion. Uh, he played with such emotion, and I think guys feed off of that, you know. Three steals, two block yeah, shots. Yeah, he was just yeah. really active. I mean, and did a great job of attacking. I thought our guys knew he had the hot hand. We took advantage of some switches. Mm -hmm. They cleared out for him. They screened well for him. Uh, Tracy set him up on a couple occasions. You know, I, I thought our guys did a great job of putting him in position to be successful. He'd be the first to tell you, I mean, he couldn't do those things without Nana's screen or the spacing mm. or the three-point shooting ability that Richardson has, which allows him to have more space to operate. Mm. So it all fits together and it's a team game as we know. I would really rank this above his 43-point outburst against Ohio State last year because this was on the road and how efficient he was at getting the 35 points as well as playing an all-around game, not just scoring offensively. Uh, again, a, a huge win over the Zags on their court. They don't lose off in there, but I'm getting to wonder, should you play all your games on the road out west? Because that's what you guys <laughs> thought. You come back here to Assembly Hall, they're all nail biters. Yeah. I mean, you had Western Carolina coming here, a, a game that was tied 54 all with six minutes to go before you pull it out. Yeah, I, I didn't think we played very well in that mm -hmm. one. You know, it's funny, I said to him yesterday when, uh, or the other day when we got back, I basically said, mm -hmm. hey, look, fellas, when we play with toughness and togetherness, mm -hmm. we have the capability of beating anyone in the country. Uh, when we don't, we have the capability of getting beat by anyone in the country. Right, right. You know, it's really that simple. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't have that toughness and togetherness that we needed against Western Carolina. We were fortunate to escape with a mm -hmm. win and make a few plays, but we had it at a high level against the Zags. But that poise that your team showed to pull out a victory certainly has to have some impact on how you go on the road and win those big games. Much more coming up here on Fight the Line by Insider. We're back right after this. <laughs> 